Okay, so this is uh, part two of the introduction to today's lab. Unfortunately, um, we can't have you do the bits and we really can't record a video of us dropping the piece of paper or using the parallax method to try and determine where an image is with the bolt as your lab describes um, because it would just look like a mystery in the video. So we're gonna encourage you to read those sections. If you have a small mirror at home, it's something you can do yourself. But for the moment, what we really are gonna concentrate in is on these ray tracing diagrams. And there's two main questions that this lab will ask. The first question is, can you see an image if you're at different locations? Okay. So, and the second one is, is where is that actual image? For this video, I'm going to just talk about, can you see the image? So you can imagine that if I have my mirror here and my object, which let's say, let's call this object A, that if I'm going to see an image in the mirror, I have to have a ray that bounces off of the mirror and gets into my eyeball. And so any ray that comes out towards this mirror will bounce off, but any ray that misses the mirror will simply travel through and never reflect off of the mirror, and hence I would not be able to see it. And so that kind of immediately tells you how you can get at whether or not I'm going to um, see an image of the mirror or not, and that's to look at rays that bounce off the two edges of the mirror and they will define some region, I'll call it a cone, of visibility. And you'll be able to see that a little bit more in a second. So to do this, I'm going to launch a ray towards the two end of the mirrors. And I'm going to show you how you can draw these rays in this lab a little bit more carefully. So I'm, there's my object. I'm going to send a ray into this particular corner of the mirror. And this is an incoming ray. And as we said in the previous video, we need to draw a normal to the surface. So do this as carefully as you can. Again, I'm very much going to ask you to use a ruler to do this so that you can do it correctly. Okay. And so here is my incoming ray to the left edge of this mirror. To get my reflected ray, angle in is angle out. And so the first way we do this is, of course, to use a protractor. Um, if you have a protractor, go ahead and use it. Um, if you don't, you can print one out and cut it out. I have a link in the uh, lab that we wrote up for you. Now you'll notice when I'm doing this, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to see where this angle is and we want to be as accurate as possible. So just to help me, I'm going to just draw a little bit of a guiding line here. So this is just going to help me understand and do a better job with my protractor. And so now I put my protractor onto this edge of the mirror and I'm 10, 20, 30, 41 degrees or so from this side of the mirror. And so I go to the other side, 10, 20, 30, 40, and one degrees on this side of the mirror. And now I can draw the reflected ray which will go out along this path. Okay, so angle in and angle out. Now to do the other side of the mirror, I'm gonna do a slightly different technique that you won't need a protractor. That actually works pretty well as well. So I'm going to launch a ray to the other side of this mirror. So there's to the right edge. Again, I need to draw my normal. And I'm doing as good as I can to get it perpendicular to the surface. Okay. Now, if you think about your trigonometry, if this is my incident angle in here, that similar triangles will have two thing, two sides the same. So that if I go say up to this point here and measure over from my object, as I'm measuring it, I'm about nine millimeters off to the side. So if I come and I'm on the same line and I go nine millimeters over on this side, then what you'll see is by good old trigonometry, this is why we have you do 
math 123, I have a ray and I can draw angle in and angle out. And so what we can see from my drawing here is I have a ray that comes out on that side, I have a ray that comes out on this side, and of course any ray that I were to put intermediately I could do the angle in on it would bounce off of the mirror. And so this tells me that I have a region here, which I'm kind of shading in, that if you have your eyeball anywhere in this kind of green region, you can see the image of point A. And so if I were to say B at this point here, I can see it, let's call that B, but if I'm at this point over here, I can't see it because there's no ray that leaves the object that hits the mirror and gets into my eyeball. And so that should be useful to answer a couple of your questions. Again, as you do this lab, please use a, a rulers and if you can, a protractor. Um, if not, you have a technique to do that and try to make your drawings as clear as possible. And if you can do them in color, even better, but we understand if you can't.